I wonder if you could talk a little bit more about your approach to writing on this book, the question of writing. Um, for those the, who aren't familiar with your work, Professor Brook is widely known as an excellent um, an excellent writer in addition to being an excellent um, historian. And so I, I, I wonder if this book was different, if the, the challenge of writing um, to engage the reader was different in this book, or is it the same? Because, I mean, I think some people talk about good writing as though it's a surface, a, a surface embellishment. Um, but what what I often see in in your work and in, and in this book is that it's it's more it is actually tied to the content in the sense that it's about your work to find what's important, explain it, and and find the examples that are persuasive about it. So is was that kind of the same in this book or were there sort of special challenges with this material? Well, I, I think the material started out with some special challenges because as I said, I'm not an economic historian. I had a lot of economic data. And my concern is always that if I don't make it interesting to the reader, the reader won't read the book. So um, I'm always concerned with trying to think, how do I fashion a narrative that is going to be appealing, that is going to draw the reader in, is going to make the reader sympathetic to, to the analysis that I'm trying to provide. And as I said earlier, I assembled this massive um, project on commodity prices in the Ming. And I just thought, this is not anything that anybody's going to want to read. And I realized that the, my best data, well, my best data were grain prices during famines, but also my most compelling stories were connected to the crises. And so that's why I decided to open the, to start the opening chapter with Chen Shida's, uh, uh memoirs, two memoirs of going through the famines in, in the early 1640s, because he was he was talking about the things that I think readers would find more compelling. Um, I could have written, a, a, how can I put this nicely? I could have written a really boring book in which I lined up all of my data and explained that data. Um, but instead I decided to put, push the data a bit into the background and bring the story forward in order to engage the interests of readers. And um, I'm, I am I have to say, I'm a little surprised at how enthusiastic readers have been about this book. I, I, I mean, I viewed this book as a bit of a, um, you know, a specialist piece that was only going to a, a, a appeal to a, a small readership. And yet um, it seems to have attracted, attracted a wide readership. So I, I, guess, I guess I pulled off the writing side of this project um, Better than I better than I thought it would. Yeah, it's it's quite it's quite a compelling read. I have to say. <laughs>